Okay, so here's a walk around of a cardboard Miata to built. It has uh, pop up headlights, Watanabe wheels, got the Hyperspeed Media logo. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Hyperspeed Media. And uh, convertible top, sort of. And you got your license plate that says Miata on the back. Yeah. Wanna try it? Wanna go in and try it? So it's built on a uh, razor cart, drift cart. So yes, just think of drift. Can I reach the pedal? Okay, go. Go ahead and drift. You know how to drift? Do a drift. You know how to do a drift? Okay. Come on. Spin. You know how to spin? There you go. Spin again. Get spin faster. Do it again. Faster. There you go. You drift. Do it again. Go. Go. I'll erase you. Okay. Let, let me give it a shot now. You want video me? Okay. Hold on. One second. Let me get it. Let me try it inside first. Okay. Okay, so it's fairly easy to build one of these. Basically, all you need is a drifter cart, which is this is the mini version of that. Is made by Razor. Uh, the mini version doesn't have a handle, but the adult size go kart does have a handle, and the handle's right there. If you pull it up, you could drift the cart. And what I did was kind of upgrade it a little bit. I put a battery meter right here, uh, change the switch, and also add a 36 volt battery. And the cardboard, basically, I went to U-Haul, got the biggest cardboard they, they sell, uh, cut out a Miata shapes, and then on both sides, and then I overlapped the middle with the cardboard. And what I did was I used these, um, I used these uh, rods, wooden rods right here, kind of frame it all out to the front and the back to kind of shape the body. And then I put cardboard to kind of shape it on top of it. And also, I cut out a bunch of circle for the wheels. Just printed these Watanabe wheels out. And these are the pop-up headlights. I didn't feel like filling the side. And I didn't feel like making it pop-up. But maybe in the future, I'll actually make a real pop-up headlight. Um, that's about it. Hyper Speed Media.